Well, good morning, Team Associated fans. See what I did there? It's always Tamir fans, but today, Team Associated fans. Um, I did a little short on uh, YouTube about doing an unboxing on my RC10 Classic, this one. So I'm actually gonna do that today. I know it's not a Tamir video, but it's still pretty interesting. These things are super duper popular. When I bought this, which is I think 2013 in Hong Kong, um, I ended up actually getting this as well, which is an RC28, 128 scale RC10, just to have the pair together. So I'm gonna open them both up. I'm gonna go through and show you guys what you get in the kits. They're very, very, very different to Tamir kits, let me tell you. But uh, it's all there and it's all complete. So I'm gonna open up and have a look through, get the head cam on and hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> So let's start with the RC28. Um, 128 scale, which is obviously why it's RC28. So champions by design, 28th time champion, rc10.com, team associated. So ready to run, 128 scale, two wheel drive, batteries included, charges included, electric powered, 2.4 gigahertz included. Pretty cool, I mean, it's pretty close representation to the one tenth. All right, let's have a look inside. It's been on the shelf for years, this one. I never actually used it, to be honest. Let's see what we get in the box. A little instruction manual. I haven't actually opened that packet, you can see. It's obviously got some sale stuff in there as well. So, receiver there, or transmitter there, and the little RC28. Doesn't have any suspension on the front, it's just flex, but it has springs on the rear, you can see. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And I think it was very expensive as well. I think maybe like 50 bucks or something. But I thought it looked good next to the RC10. So let's open up the RC10. These are super duper popular. These were the bomb back in the day. So this is 26 time world champ. There's 28 time world champs. So that must come out before this one. No, this one came out before this one. Designed in the USA. T6 aluminium monocoque tub, competition modular wheels, fully adjustable four wheel independent suspension, front skid plate, RC10 classic design fit, six cell nickel metal hydride or and two S lipo battery packs. That's pretty cool. Just a little bit about it. Cautions and all in different languages. All right, let's have a look inside. So you can see it's very different to a Tamir kit when you open up the box. Um, there's a little check card there. It's a packaging list. Shows you all the bags here. So it's been double checked before it was sent off. And there we go. Uh, 8th, 22nd of the 8th, 2013. This is bag B rear suspension. There's the tyres. There's a sticker in there as well. It's a sticker say Proline. So Proline tyres. The gold shots, bag GG. There's the driver. Take a bit of painting to get him right, but there it is. This, this bag, I don't know what that one is. That's the gear box. There's obviously a little transmission build supplement there, about extra 
bits you need to do which aren't in the manual. Cool. Looks like the front suspension. Yep. Bag B, front suspension. It's the motor mount and the sort of bash plate underneath. So I guess that goes that way. Silicon grease and black grease. It's a very, very, very small Allen key. Wow, I don't think I've seen an Allen key that small before. And that front swivel hub. Bag BB. Bag H in the chassis. So this is obviously where the battery sits in this way. Uh, bag DD, which is the Looks like shock tower, probably for the rear, be a rear shock tower. What else have we got in here? Um, that's all the rest of the suspension pieces, all the shafts and drop joints and O-rings and 30 weight silicon oil and all sorts of stuff. These look like glow in the dark. No, not glow in the dark. That's all the uh, tie rods and stuff. That's where it all mounts on in the front, I think. Obviously that is it marries up to the other end of that for the battery. There's the cover there for the slipper clutch. Some other bits and pieces look like the hubs for the wheels, I think. Maybe. Something. It's the front tower and the front skid plate, bag AA. The Associated Engineering uh, logo there. A few more random pieces. Bag A nose plate steering. There's the body shell. I don't know what that is, a little piece of cardboard. That's the body shell. Pretty, pretty firm. Not too much flex in it at all, which is pretty cool. Seems to be a lot thicker than the recent Tamiya ones, that's for sure. There are the wheels. Three-piece wheels. Obviously like a um, bead locker style, rather than a glue style. We've got here steering servo. That's our servo mounts. A couple of linkages. And the Mystical gold pan. It's all anodized gold. Quality is a bit different here. I would have thought that would have been just filed down and then before they did the anodization, but not. I mean, that's a factory finish that's come out of the box, but I would have expected that to be a little bit, I guess, a little bit neater. Rear wing. And this is all the decals. Looks like some tools, like plastic tools that come with it. And they're all plastic tools. Decal sheet. And the instructions, which I'm not going to open, just want to move them around a bit actually because that looks like it's just stuck a little bit. Cool. So that's it. RC10 classic. What a kit. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, certainly something different this time around. I haven't got anything else that I can unbox that's not to me really. I've got some Kyosho Mini Zs, but they're already unboxed and sitting on the shelf in my office. So next time I do a Tamiya video, I might do the 49400, uh, the 30th anniversary kit, which is a super popular kit. So that's probably going to get some views. But I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one. So if you like this video, there's plenty more on our channel that you're going to love. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Check out some of the other videos that we've made. I'm sure you'll like them.